Good morning in the morning. What time is it? It's time to go. It's uh, six something, and we have an early morning today because I swim at eight thirty, I believe. Fifty so, back it is. Let's get. It. Let's go and have breakfast. So, Luisa, we've arrived. What a stressful morning that was. Can you tell us a little bit? I think that's the reason why you always try to race fatigued and tired in training. This competition comes around and you hope that you have time and you can get ready. And I'm swimming, but I like to really take my time. But sometimes you can't, so you really have to have that mindset to fall back upon. I have to be in the pool 10 minutes ago. It's gonna be fine, we're gonna make it work. I had a first coffee this morning, this month, so that I am really counting on that to push me forward. up a bit too early and my system cooled down before my start so I wasn't feeling that fresh um, yeah the time wasn't a super time but it's okay it was early in the morning I'm through in the B final which is something to look forward to I've got a second chance and uh, in my second chance I'm gonna try to make better decisions and uh, it's a faster time or perform and execute better that's gonna be the goal let's see how it goes in the car very exciting but unfortunately we just stayed over overnight here so we don't have the hotel anymore so that's how it is um, so let's start with some uh, reflection about the morning it was a very crazy morning let's hear me talk um, I think personally that I my biggest struggle maybe was a bit with the racing environment it is very different than what we're being used to and you have, the level of competition is much higher and I don't think that I handled that to the best of my ability. I have been working really hard the last uh, couple of weeks and I have been sick for like a few days and I think mentally that was hard to bounce back from because I'm somebody that trains very consistently and that unfortunately showed a bit today so I think I know what to work on for next week because then we will race again um, and yeah it is what it is right yeah I think it's um, it was a good decision what we that we um, decided to, to consider this meet and uh, swim here in uh, in Luxembourg there's some really fast swimmers the best in the world 
and uh, you don't always have a chance uh, to swim uh, against them uh, next to them so uh, of course the stress and the pressure uh, level is much higher in such meets and uh, we need that exposure and whatever the outcome it was still we're gonna take that from from this competition so it was good that we were there of course execution um, was um, sloppy and uh, this is something we need to stabilize um, consistently it doesn't matter what kind of competition it is and um, so for me this is my goal and I was able to qualify for the B final which is awesome because uh, I have a second chance and uh, I can try to execute my race better and uh, I will be swimming next to David Popovich which is um, the world record holder in the 100 meter freestyle so how amazing is that it's probably it was meant to be that's why i wasn't able to to get through the a final that's how i view it anyways we'll see how it goes i'll keep you uh, posted and uh, we'll talk later from the pool maybe ciao of unfortunate events. Stefano has forgotten his racing stuff, everything basically in the car. So I'm quickly gonna go out and get it. Um, it's just one of these things, isn't it? <laughs> 